Hello and welcome to ARCA here at Homestead Miami Speedway. We're getting started here. I almost forgot to start recording. I'm so excited to get out here for some ARCA. We got the first time slot of the week. Um, I just did an SRX race right before this, but I think I might upload this first just to break up all the different SRX races I've been doing lately. So I won't uh, talk about that too much, but uh, we're here in a new season on iRacing, and uh, we've got a good track to start off with. Homestead's a pretty fun place to drive, so uh, really slick out here. So I'm going to be contending with that. Green, green, green. And uh, especially okay. when Come going from the flat. SRX, testing that on an intermediate, and then going to this, it's quite the difference. So might take me a little bit get up to speed. There I go. Killing my lap time right there. Uh, I think I'm going to have to do another run to the line. Fastest lap for East, 33.7. Do another run to the line here. One and then uh, I think I want to take that lower line in 3 and 4 potentially. P6. That puts you 0.3 off the pace. That was a 34.0. The guy behind has just done a 34.2. Ooh. All right, held it together a little bit better there. Now hopefully we can do this lower line. Won't get the run off, but I think we might have a quicker way to the line doing that. So 33.9. Oh no, we are way off pace. That's not what I like to see. I wonder if uh, we actually want to be low side both ends of the track? I don't know. I might not have the right line here, though, with 33.6 uh, up there. That's pretty wild. I did see a little bit of this going on, where guys are doing like a slider line. Not sure what that's about, but that didn't work for me. But that's a little concerning if I'm three tenths off. Oh yeah, hit the apron, that'll make you faster. Good idea. Well, at least I uh, I can feel pretty confident knowing that uh, I'm not going to want to run the high line the whole race. Instead, we're, we're going to be going down here. I don't know if I quite have this figured out, though. You just kind of wrap the bottom. It's not going to be faster way around, but... I don't know, it's so slick out here, I feel like maybe, uh... It might get on the right rear if we're not careful. Which has me question questioning how I want to approach this. Really no idea. Super slick out here. Maybe I just don't have the talent. <laughs> Maybe some guys are running kind of that lower line and just really working the wheel and are able to hold on to it. We'll go ahead and park it for now. What do we have? Yeah, it looks like we might end up on the right rear. The end of the session. Which, uh, position. that tracks with how it's feeling in the car. Feeling very loose. So, alright. Two minutes to grid. We will start P7. You know, P7's not that bad. I thought it was going to be much worse being that far off the, the top, guys. Got Larry up there. And Matthew, who I don't recognize, but he killed it for the pole. Be interesting to see what lines they're running. Justin's in here as well. Don't mean to overlook him. And uh, Nick, also in this race. In addition to a couple other guys I also recognize, but we got to get gridden up. Can't spend uh, all day talking here. Alright. 
So knowing that we're going to get on the right rear, I think what we might want to do is still run the bottom. But I'm not going to worry about hit, like getting on that seam for rotation or anything. The car's not tight, necessarily. It might just go try to go around the bottom and uh, take it easy. And maybe we'll have some speed by the end of this thing. I don't want to lose a ton of track position or anything, but we're starting decent here in P7. Maybe I can learn what some of the fast guys are doing as well. If they really are trying to uh, use up that right front. It's like I said, I saw some uh, guys practicing and uh, running what looked like a slider line, and that might be to try to heat up that right front. Maybe I'll try that. We'll see how I'm feeling, how much room we have enough, if we have enough room around us to even do that. Because you can't just start sliding everywhere when you got cars around you. There's no car changes allowed during this race. Trading paints working? Good luck. I hope so. Six. The air temp is 83 Fahrenheit. Jordan says I am a washed sim racer. In the inside column. At least he's clean. You are out of time. One to go, next time by. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed right now. Gonna be a second gear start here probably. So we all take the excess road on the bottom lane. Hopefully I'll be able to see the leaders well enough. Doesn't feel like there's any tire spin to speak of, so we can floor it once we get going. And we're watching that, uh, the black number two up there. Get ready, going green. Oh, we got sleeping in our row, I think. Maybe couldn't see. Inside. Stay high. There's a car on the low side. Clear inside. All right. Use that middle lane. Everyone seeming to be running this bottom. I'm going to be easy on the throttle so as not to burn up my right rear too much. Try to run a good pace. Seems like we're keeping up just fine, which is good news. Sixth place. Guys catching up behind us though. Maybe I try to get some track position right now so we don't get swamped. The leader's just done a 34.3. The lap time was at 34.5. The time is at 34.6. Stay high. Ooh. Right now. Still there, inside. Clear. The ground is outside. Are we going to get enough of a run out of the corner to keep clear? Looks like we are. Alright. You're in fifth. The guy behind has just done a 34.4. The car in front has just posted a 34.2. It's definitely wanting to turn on me. It's getting loose. I have to imagine it's only going to get worse. So I'm kind of not being shy about my entries. If we're going to wish the tires were more even anyway, maybe uh, it's not so bad to get uh, some higher speeds on entry and include the right front on the action a little bit.
see the seven sliding in front of us a little bit out of the corner and we're through five and P5 Really interesting to see what our tires look like at the end of the race. Maybe I will get on that right front too much, but it really felt like, uh, and seemed to be in the short runs of practice I did, that it was going to be on the right rear. B5. Justin up there getting a little loose on exit. Jordan's right behind us. We got a pass attempt going on, maybe. Not quite. Just unable to hold him off. running a little bit of a lane higher. Seems okay to me. Justin's in the wall on the straight. <laughs> it's a rare mistake. He's gonna slot in here. Okay, Colton. The next car is E. Still very early. Lots of time for the tires to evolve through this run. Do a little bit of this. Higher lane. Car inside. Still there, inside. Still there, inside. See what we can do. Clear inside. Car inside. Not a really great Still run there, from that lane. I kind of got a little too sideways. Clear I think we got it done. E4, we can see the leaders. That's always a good sign. I have a bad feeling I'm going to fall off, though, later in this run. Seven's looking like he's going to be really loose by the end of this race, because he's getting it yawed out a ton. I don't know if that's what you want here. After steering up to the wall, got a little scary there as we got pretty close to it.
Got a little bit of a gap behind us right now, which tells me I'm probably going to regret the way I'm driving right now, but you never know. All right, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. I mean, I, I'm not feeling tight, that's for sure. Not right now. Definitely think Justin's gonna come back and pass me later. I might try this middle lane, or at least a lane up from the bottom. Because if not very many people are running there, we could have a little bit more speed to find. Car kind of just naturally went to the bottom there. I didn't mean to do that, but... Right. I was fully intending to run a lane up there, but the car migrated down. I guess it's those loose conditions. Uh, that's not really working. I didn't grip up like I was hoping it would. That was a bad corner. We lost a tenth. Blocking behind us, maybe? I was trying to give you top there. Oh, not intentional yeah, blocking. No. At first, I thought you were blocking, I was trying to go lower. <laughs> I see someone in my uh, rear view going up top. Can't tell who it is right now. They're making a call. I think it is that six. That's good consistency. Keep it up. Is that something we should be doing? Is he gaining on us? He is. I think we'll take this corner normally for now. I think we'll migrate to the top here in one and two. He is on his way. doing it much better than I am though. He's gonna get around me anyway. Inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Still inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear, inside. Still there. Stay high. Give me a pain in the butt. Clear. Two Still sideways there. Not a good corner. Still inside. Clear. It's 
too tight in three and four. We have to go to bottom three and four, I think. Inside. Clear. Your last lap time was at 35.5. Car inside. Stay high. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Don't have a choice here. Clear. Car inside. Stay high. There's a car on the road. Did not work. Still there. Inside. Clear inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear inside. Five. Car inside. Clear. Probably moved up too early. Car in front is ye. Heck, it might not be the move to go up the track at all at any point in this race. I don't know. I'm gonna move back down Easy. here. Gap to Harland behind is now 0.5. That lap was a see what our times look like. I think we gotta go high one and two, low three and four. I think that's what I'm finding. Ugh, overdrove that bad. Often today, I didn't need to do that. I think I just came down a little too much. My bad. Wasn't trying to. You're all good. Ooh, it's definitely tough to drive. You can see Justin getting loose out there. I'm having to focus a whole lot. Sixth place though, still looking pretty good with 13 to go. You've just done a 35.6. Okay, Colton, cup time's pretty consistent. Just a rip in the wall up there. He's braver than I am. I'm not gonna go that close, I don't think. Oh, and that's why I'm not doing it. Guy in the wall ahead. Justin in the guy ahead. The car outside. Clear. P5. The car inside. Still inside. Still there at the bottom. I think we're even, even. Clear inside. Yeah, it's tough, dude. It's not get off of it. When it did, it come down. Oof, this is tough. Inside, you're back in fifth. Still there, hold your line. Still there. Clear inside. Car inside. Yes, there, probably. Clear. Ooh, he's nearly losing it. Outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Stay low. Clear outside if you want it. Ten to go. This time, Inside. Clear. 
Inside. Clear. Oh wow, the eight's got much better tires than I do. I can tell just by the fact he was able to do that. Car inside. Clear. Car inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. Ooh. Barely held on to that. Seventh position. Jordan's back. He's back behind us now. Okay, Colton. The next car is Neil. Not blocking him. I'd run this line every lap. It looked like he was gonna try to dive it under us. Inside. Still there. Hold your line. Clear. That lap was at 35.9. Car inside. Still there. Hold your line. Stay high. Still there, hold your line. Clear. And not clear soon enough. Car inside. Okay, car's just not gonna turn then. Clear. Inside. Holy cow, that stunk. Still there, hold your line. Trapped. Still there at the bottom. That was, uh, clear inside. We've fallen off pretty bad. Got two seconds behind us though, so I guess ninth is the worst we're gonna finish at least. My right front, I think, is cooked. That lap time was 36.1. Oh, he's really sideways there. Doesn't lose all that much time, though. Got five to go. You got five laps to go. That's what I just said. If I could be braver in one and two, I'd probably gain a lot more time. Uh oh, that's not good. Push now, we can catch up here. Eight gets turned, I'm not sure what happened. That sucks. But it'll be one more spot for us. on the wall ahead of us. Pretty consistent. Uh oh, guy on the wall. Big yikes. Two more, let's go. The lap time was 
I don't know if we're going to be able to do anything here. We're coming to the white flag. White flag, white flag. White flag, one more to go. We'll try down here since he's going to be up on the top anyway. Yeah, there's less speed down there. All right, we'll get eighth then. That'll work. It was a clean race. We get an eighth. Good race. Good race. Good job. Very good job. Nick back there with the top ten as well. I see him out on the relative. Looks like the two got the victory over Larry. Yeah, I think I... I think I just got the right front worn too much. Um, the right rear definitely got worn too. 64.57. I'm going to report that. <laughs> not the eye racing. I'm not going to like protest myself for terrible tire saving, but... <laughs> I'm so bad at saving tires, man. <laughs> Look how bad my tires are. Oh my god. Literally worse than everybody's. That's crazy. Hey, mine weren't, weren't too different from Larry, though. Look at that. Larry had better on both, but like his uh, distribution's looking pretty similar. Interesting. Huh, so that's an okay finish. We'll, we start 7th, finish 8th. And uh, we'll see what the what happened out here. We did get uh, at least one freebie because of an accident, so I guess uh, I've got to take that into consideration as well. And uh, we'll see how that all happened. First thing we see is all the way on lap 28, the uh, six getting into the wall, and then Justin having to avoid him. That could have been really bad. That, that was very close. Ooh, Allen back there, running 18th, just getting a little bit of wall. I thought that was going to be worse at first glance. And the 6 kind of just wrecks the guy on the straightaway. I guess, uh... I see he sees the 8 there, and they kind of like slowly drifting up, and I think he was trying to find where he wanted to take his run, and uh, just never quite... Picked a lane fully. So he gets the quarter panel there and that just sends the eight around. Really unfortunate. Just uh, not as precise as he needed to be when driving that close, I guess. And uh, I'm sure the eight's not thrilled. And uh, that was it. So we pretty much saw the biggest stuff right in front of us there at the end. Uh, we will get P8 and... We'll take a look at the race results page. See where we got, uh, what we got championship points wise and all that good stuff. So here it is. We'll gain 4i rating. So we're at 56.57 and 159 championship points. Clean race with the 0x, which is really good. Happy with that. And uh, we definitely were going too hard because we had one of the fastest laps out here. <laughs> I think Justin maybe had the fastest lap at a 144. No, actually the uh, the nine finishing right behind us had a 124. And it looks like they probably had the fastest lap, so probably could have gone a little easier and saved my stuff a little bit better, and then probably would have been long uh, better at the end. So was just trying to figure out my approach, and I never really committed to anything specific, so. That'll happen, but P8's not bad. I'll take it. We'll uh, gain some uh, rating and stuff from this, so I guess that's a win. And uh, 
that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching some Arca at Homestead. And uh, I'm ready for some more racing this new season. I'm very excited. I uh, hope to see you there, and I hope you have a good one.